The voices of some of the voters there in Georgia in these two Senate runoff, runoff races. And for more on that and on that recording of President Trump pushing Georgia's Secretary of State to, quote, find him the votes and overturn their certified election, we're happy to be joined by Georgia's Republican Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, thanks very much for being with us. I just want to get your thoughts. Look, we all heard it. Uh, some of us have delved into the full hour-long recording of the president's phone call with uh, Secretary of State Raffensperger. What was your reaction when you heard that coming from the president? I was disappointed. Uh, I don't think there's any other way to describe it from my perspective when I first heard it, uh, first heard about it, and then actually uh, put my ears on it. Disappointed for sure. Can't imagine anybody on the president's team uh, thought that was a good idea. Uh, but it is what it is. It's another blow to us here in Georgia, another distraction. But uh, certainly, uh, Kelly Leffler and David Perdue continue to work hard, and, and hopefully we've got enough Republicans that can push through this and, and show up tomorrow and uh, get them across the finish line. Well, let me delve into that just a little bit, this distraction. Uh, the president has been uh, really calling into question the integrity of the entire election system in Georgia and other states. And so you mentioned it as a distraction. What kind of impact do you think this phone call is going to have on Republicans who uh, might be disheartened by uh, Joe Biden's victory there and now confused by everything they're hearing on social media and from the president of the United States? Well, I, I do think it, it you know, is going to have a negative impact. Uh, hopefully it's not uh, anything that's going to change the outcome of the election and uh, we can continue to push forward. Uh, but it's a continued narrative where, you know, certain, some Republicans, including the president, have just decided to, to use the misinformation and the election fraud, uh, you know, conspiracy theories as, as an excuse. And uh, quite honestly, I don't think it helps us short term. Uh, certainly doesn't help us long term as we try to figure out what went right the last four years and what can we improve on in a GOP 2.0. Um, and so, uh, look, we're just going to have to keep keep going to work. We've got 36 more hours, r roughly, and uh, I'm certainly going to spend all that time trying to get voters to show up for, to vote for Kelly and David. And elections are always about tomorrow, as you say, uh, Republican 2.0. Oh, uh, the president's there. What do you want to hear from him tonight? He's a great campaigner, as he's demonstrated. What do you expect and what do you want to hear from him tonight? Well, I think if he stays focused on the accomplishments of uh, his administration uh, and stays uh, focused on the accomplishments of Kelly Leffler and David Perdue as conservative senators, uh, I think we got a great shot to continue to remind enough folks to show up to vote for them to win. Uh, that's important. Uh, all this other you know, business and garbage and misinformation is a distraction. Uh, it's a sideshow. It does nothing. It's wasted energy uh, in, in the big picture here. And so I, my, my hope is that we just spend, uh, they spend their time focused in on talking about their accomplishments. So, Lieutenant Governor, I was looking at the Georgia Code, uh, Title 21, of the elections section, uh, Chapter 2, Section 604, criminal solicitation to commit election fraud. Do you think that responsible law enforcement officials in the state of Georgia should look into this call to see if any of your state's laws were violated? Well, I'm certainly not a lawyer, uh, and so I'll, I'll let them uh, make sure that they investigate uh, all, you know, the, the letter of the law, as you just read. What I will tell you, as a Republican, I do support law enforcement. And I think it's important to remind as many folks across America that might have doubts or might have concerns or might have read some of this misinformation that we've had our law enforcement uh, along this entire process. We've had post-certified investigators uh, in the Secretary of State's office and also our GBI, our Georgia Bureau of Investigators, uh, work with the signature audit process. Uh, so we've had law enforcement with us every step of the way. I'm proud of their efforts. Uh, even though the guy I voted for didn't win, I'm proud of the law enforcement efforts here. And as a Republican, I, I'm, you know, I'm very, very proud of that. And let, let me ask you, as a, you're a rising politician in the state of Georgia, what, what does this say about our democracy? What does it say about uh, the voters that, that you are answerable to, that you're going to want to speak to going forward, that so many of them are, are willing to believe that it's a sham, our democracy. Yeah, I think this is a great pivot point for us uh, as a party uh, and as a country. But, uh, you know, if I'm looking at it through a partisan lens, this is a great pivot point for us to go back to the basics, right? We just spent four years validating that an outsider can come in and make big changes in Washington, D.C. But where do we go from here? Uh, you know, where, how can we get better at the policy? How can we, we be more empathetic to those that we're trying to bring into the fold? And how do we, how do we change our tone? I mean, 280 characters has just been a constant barrage of, of, of you know, just continue, continuing to beat people down. Uh, I think we can do better as a party. This is a pivot point. I think we'll look back at this time and see it as an opportunity for us to go from here. Well, that's optimistic. More conversation, less tweeting, maybe. Let me ask you finally. So 
What should the rest of the country, as they're looking at what's happening in Georgia, what should they know about Georgia's election officials and how they've handled this presidential election? Yeah, I'm proud to be on the team. Governor Kemp, uh, Secretary Raffensperger, ourself, our Attorney General Chris Carr, uh, and others, uh, 159 different counties working together, have put on a fair legal election. Was it perfect? I'm, I'm certain that's not the case, right? Every state, every county always has opportunities to make improvements, but we have put on a fair legal election. We have worked as hard as we possibly can to validate those results, and we're going to do that again tomorrow. And uh, certainly I want America uh, to, to, to be proud of this election. I want Georgians to be proud of this election. Uh, uh, and hopefully we can get through this. And, and on January 6th, 7th, 8th, wh whichever day all the final results are tabulated, we can all wake up and turn the page and move on from here. Well, let's hope. Jeff Duncan, the Lieutenant Governor of the state of Georgia, thanks very much and good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.